Hello everyone, and welcome to this video. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up the original Xbox emulator CXBXR for your PC. However, before I do this, I'm just going to explain something beforehand. Xbox emulation, at this moment in time, isn't very good. There's a fair few problems with it, and not many games run, and the ones that do run tend to have a lot of various issues within them. What I would recommend is that you do follow this guide, try out the games you want as an example, see what condition they're in, and then from there constantly check the website for when there's an update on the program, because with each new update that comes, the more progress is made and the more things improve. A perfect example of this is with Dead of Alive Ultimate, because for me, a few weeks ago, that just wouldn't work at all. Now with the latest update, the game is running pretty damn well. It's not perfect, but it is almost there. Anyway, with that aside, here's what you need to do. First, you are going to need to program. Go to your search engine and type in CXBXR latest version. You should come to the official website with the latest release. Click on download and then download the latest version of the program. Once you have it downloaded and extracted into its own folder, it should look a little something like this. Select the main .exe file and double click on it to open it up. Now the great thing about CXBXR, as opposed to the other Xbox emulator out there, is that this one doesn't need an image of the console or its BIOS. It's also a little bit more compatible than the other one, which is why I recommend this one a lot more than the other. Now that this is open, what we need to do is adjust the settings. Click on settings and config video and this screen should pop up. What you need to do here is adjust your settings so that they match your monitor and whatnot. I wouldn't really recommend wasting my time at present with the rendering resolutions because the first thing is that you're going to need to know is if your game even works at all. I suggest that you leave it as it is for the present, until a game you want to test works, and then if it does, you can always go back and change this to a higher setting later on if you want to. Now that that's out of the way, you can sort your controller out. Select settings, and then select input. For me, I am using an Xbox 360 pad, so I select MS controller, and then configure. If your pad is already plugged in, then the program should see it and adjust it automatically. If you don't like that, then you can always change it to whatever you want it to be by messing around in the configure settings to whatever controller that it is that you are using. Once you do have your controller set up, you're going to need to save it as a profile. To do this, you are going to need to go into profile, name it, and then save it. Once this is all done, you should be up and ready to go, and we can try our games. When you have made a dump file of your games, you are going to need them in an XBE format. Select File, and then Open. Find the XBE format of your game, and then click on it. At this point, sometimes a warning message will come up, saying that the file format is dangerous. If this does come up then don't worry, just ignore it because it's a false positive, so you select OK and load it from there. Once you have loaded it, you should see an icon of your game in the corner saying that it is loaded up. Select Emulation and then select Start, and your game, if it's worked, should be up and running. And that is pretty much it guys. Like I said at the start however, Xbox Emulation isn't that great at present. It does get better with each new update though, so as I did say at the start, always check for the latest release, because with each new release we just get that little bit farther in getting better at running this program. If you do have any issues or whatever then leave a message below and I will do my best to get back to you. 